this problem is getting worse. It's not getting any better. Every each time I train, it's just compiling the problem. It's, it's making it ten times worse than what it was before, and it needs to get better. So I've started using uh, ice every morning, thanks to Duncan Walsh reminding me that I must ice it. Um, I've started using uh, Eps, is it Epsom salts baths. Started using them. Um, started doing hot and cold baths. I've started stretching every morning, not getting straight out of bed. Now that is brilliant. Um, what you don't realise is when you've been asleep all night, your body instinctively knows what's damaged, what needs stretching, right? But what we do as human beings, we get out of bed and go get up because we're late for work. I stopped doing that. I get up now, my body wants to stretch, I let it stretch. I subconsciously let the body stretch and uh, it's doing things that are remarkable, yeah? I ice it, it feels a little bit better, yeah? Um, and then on a night, I, put, I, I use the ball, roll around on it, get rid of all that stuff that just gathers up, the big lumps that I get in back here, especially a big knot that I get in back of there. So it is on the mend. I'm going to do some exercises now on camera, and these are the exercises I'm going to do every single day for a month until this shoulder is strong enough to hold itself in position, because that's the nail on the head. Every time I train, the shoulder loses position. It comes out of position. It's actually dislocating itself, and that's no good for me. So I'm going to strengthen the shoulder cuff up completely and I reckon it'll take four weeks. Every day doing this for four weeks, the stretching, the baths, the uh, cold ice. And another thing, right? I don't like to take tablets, brufin, paracetamols, anything like that because the tablets, right? And what I found out is I buy chamomile and bedtime tea, which is a mixture of chamomile and all these other stuff that make you sleep, right? But they're all natural. Right, not only does it make you sleep because it's a muscle relaxant, it also relaxes your muscles and helps you take away all that inflammation that you've got, takes away that spasming and everything. So bedtime tea is a fantastically good alternative to paracetamols, proof and stuff like that. Why do I know? Because I've been taking it for a week and it has made a massive difference. So off we go. First exercise that I'm going to do, you can't see both hands, you can see one, but they both do the same thing. Pull band out like that. Yeah, so it's outstretched, push it out with all your might and then do small circles. Now as you go out, the band comes back in and as you pull that way, you push it back out. So it's getting stretched and it's pulsating all the time like that. Now the movements want to be small because the muscle that's damaged on me is the muscle that starts the movement, right? So they need to be small. No point doing big circles because then the muscle that I want to train is not there anymore. It's the very, very beginning muscle that starts that movement. That's where my problem is in this left shoulder. So small movements, keep that band pulsing. Keep breathing. And it doesn't take long at all before that's tired. So I'm going to do a few sets of that every day, just till it's tired, like that, like so, and then that's done. And then I'm going to go the other way. Yeah, which is a lot harder. Pulse the other way, like that. Ah. And straight away, all those muscles that never get used get fired up, right? And what I recommend to anybody is, even if you're not damaged, do that exercise before you're damaged because it'll stop you getting damaged. Next exercise is holding straight out, pulling towards yourself. Stopping there on the chest. Yep. Very slow movements, no momentum, so that the muscle that you want to train stays connected, yeah? You don't want to do full momentum because this is what the problem is. When we press, right, the starting muscle that's involved in the starting press never gets a chance to switch on because we're all within full steam, one, two, and we're bouncing weight and the muscle that gets damaged never really gets trained because that muscle isn't engaging the weight. So if I were to do this really fast, yeah, I'm missing out that muscle that's damaged. So why? that's why you do them really slow. Because you switch it on, it stays on right throughout the movement, like that. And then just before it switches, just before, you don't want it to get to there. You want to keep the momentum on, the tension on, so that it works that muscle. That's another exercise. Right. Next exercise. Start down here. Pull your band out. And as you pull your band out, let it lift up, let it slide up the body. Yeah, as close as you can. 
close as you can. You physically nearly want to touch and then let it slide over your head and then go to there. Now I'm too severely damaged to go right back, so I'm not gonna. But as you get better, go further back. But if it causes pain, do it. Right, I'll show you the golden nugget of the movement, right? It's there, there, and there. Right, if I went all the way down now, I'd, I'd let the muscle switch off. I don't want to do that. As soon as I hit that sweet spot where the damaged muscle is really working, that's where I want to stop and go back. So the sweet spot is there. It's just that pull out there. So I work up, overhead. Just before it starts to work, don't go back any further. But if you've noticed, I can already go back a little bit further after a couple of goes. So come back down, keep close to the body. The sweet spot is there. So don't allow that to drop and then start again. And then what you find is, oh, the muscles, the very small ones that never do a thing, absolutely burn. Yep. Keep close, keep close. The sweet spot's there. Ah, so that's that one, yeah. Next one. Hold the band, like so. And just bring that down at an angle, yeah. So we're not bringing it down to the side. We're not bringing it down to the front, it's the angle in between, yeah. So, slowly down, at an angle. Sweet spot, back. Don't allow the pressure to come off the band. Sweet spot, back. Keep it slow, about there. Ah. Sweet spot, back now, because I've done the hand, I've got to do the hand, yep. And all that sort of thing is what I'm going to be doing. And it should make a difference. It will make a difference. I'm going to get this shoulder fixed once and for all. Yeah. So it can hold itself in that cuff. Because that's that's the problem. It's not holding itself in that cuff. It's popping all the time. I end up with a big lump there. I've got it now. I have to massage it out. I have to reset the shoulder, stretch, ice, hot and cold baths. You name it, I have to do it right. You lot, keep training.